Welcome to Wonky J's Top Joys Assist. Um, um, uh, are you gonna eat that or can I have it? So, welcome to uh, have a look and see which cars are absolutely brilliant. Um, uh, in my uh, uncommon, that's a really good one. Um, for the uh, just a gym all rounder. So, these are all the cars that I really uh, uh, suggest you uh, get in in your garage if you want a full garage on the uncommon side. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, so the Fiat Cubo that's uh, a quite a good car, especially for the uh, the wets. Not bad at all, and that's not a bad speed on on that fella. And uh, so uh, again, there are only my suggestions. That's a really bad car, but I just love the way it looks. I mean, it's um a really poor stats at five percent win ratio. It's not going to win anything, and this it's um. Uh, you can't have any other four-wheel drive cars in it's going to win. The Renault or the Gunas are actually, uh, all of them, there's um, a, a few more that are really good um, all around, especially in the rain. The Oldsby build, there's some great MRI on that little thing. And you've got the uh, Alfa Romeo, that's good for cornering. Very nice indeed. And the uh, Mercedes-Benz 300 SL, quite expensive car, that's some. Um, and the Maserati Spring, both of those are really good for the, uh, for the straights for the drags that's not a bad one for the drags and uh, this little fellow is just some i love the the styling of that one um the make is pretty uh it's not really good for anything else but the styling is very nice so let's uh see what else we have that's good for the uh the nought to uh, 60 um not as good but it is okay and the aston martin dbs are uh, uh, it's got some great mra um, there is another one coming up soon and we've got the Alfa Romeo that's great for corners and another one for the uh, the speed it's got a nice top end of 149 on on that one as well and then we've got the Opal or the Vauxhall that's great for cornering and we've got another Oldsmobile that's got some great uh, um, MRA once again definitely worth having it in your garage this is only if you want your garage to be complete obviously and the uh, Dodge Stingshot, great for all corners, nice and light as well. And the uh, Citroen SM, that's got some good MRA, um, surprisingly. So, um, and the uh, Chrysler D Eloquence, that's um, some good uh, speed off of that one. Chevrolet Blazer S10, that's uh, that saved me quite a few times for the off-road. There's the other DB that was uh, on and out earlier on. And uh, so, yeah, the DBs are, uh, as a collective, very good. Um, and uh, another one, the Suzuki Alto, this is four wheel drive, this edition, um, good stats all around. And what else do we have that's worth mentioning? Oh, here we are. We've got a couple here, the uh, Primera for the cornering and for the wets. We've got the uh, Nissan Leaf, it's not a bad MRA on that one either. Definitely worth uh, having a looky. And uh, so, altogether, I've got all of the uh, uncommons. Um, in my garage, which is great. Um, Daytona Turbo Z. I think there's a couple of the uh, non, uh, sorry, there's a couple of the prize cars I haven't got in there. But apart from that, I've got them all. And the uh, Chevrolet El Camino, that's uh, good for the straights. Um, what else do we have? Um, oh, we've got the uh, Suzuki uh, Cara, that's good for the uh, for rain and cornering. There's the other Laguna that I, uh, I mentioned earlier on. And the uh, Plymouth Barracuda Fastback, that's good for the straights. So, uh, and is Mercedes in the car? No. Um, the uh, Lancia Beta Monte Carlo, that's a good all rounder. Got some uh, good MRI. The MRI obviously is the uh, mid range acceleration, very, uh, very useful thing to have. Um, so, uh, after the uh, after the Nauti 60, the MRI kicks in basically. Um, Opal Cadet and the uh, Sylvia, both of those good for corning, and same with the Nissan 240 uh, SX, and the same with the uh, MG Metro Turbo. That was, car was discontinued when they brought in the uh, crash testing. It poured uh, Fiat Panda, that's very good, was a full of wet. It they, um, performed so badly, and Chevrolet Impala SS. 427 good for the straights yeah perform so badly you have to uh, remove it from production this hand patrol that's good for the uh the off-roading <coughs> excuse me, what? 
and uh, the uh, Maserati in Mexico that's good for the straights also we also got the uh, Ford Mustang Boss 302 that's good for the straights and uh, the uh, Citroen DS5 good for the cornering and uh, for the city streets the S10 Extreme it's got some good height on that vehicle and the uh, Bentley's drop <coughs> excuse me Haha, <laughs> uh, just an interruption there. Okay, like, so the Bentley Brooklyn's that's good for uh, for the high speed and getting up there. Maserati Indy, not bad car at all. And uh, what else do we have in here? <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, it's not bad for corners. I don't know what whether Schumacher's actually done much on that. Dodge Challenger TA, that's good for the uh, for the straight. And a couple of corners here, the Corrado G60, and uh, also the uh, Vauxhall HP Frenza. Both of those are good for the corner. Looking around, where else do we have that? Some um, definitely worth having in your in your garage. All well, depends how big your garage is as well. Obviously, you've got to uh, purchase the slots that go with the cars, otherwise you can't actually store them. And uh, so. Uh, yeah, so it all depends what carriage you've got. So the Chrysler Light, uh, Laser XT, that's good for the uh, corners. And we've got the uh, Aston Martin V8 de Blante. That's uh, great for the top end and not a bad uh, 0-60 time on that either. Definitely worth uh, having. And then we've got the uh, Suzuki Mighty Boy SS40. That's got some phenomenal uh, kick-off start. And um, very good Saturn Sky that's a great all round a 5.9 and a 4 handling very nice and a Sport McGann I think that's diesel and that's not a bad car either Plymouth Roadrunner 383 that's good for the, the straights for the old drags and uh, we also got for the uh, Maserati Mist, Mistral that's a uh, good top end and Strata Zero um, yeah just love the way it's stalled there but it's got some good stats as well but it's the style that I love on, on that one. I like something a little bit funky. And the uh, Chrysler Contrast, Conquest TSI, that's good for corners. Autotam AZ1, that's an absolutely brilliant car for wet cornering. And uh, so we've come to the end of that. So uh, that's the one I want. That's the one that I recommend. And I um, hope you enjoyed and see you on the next one. So please like, share, subscribe and comment below and um, we're also on TikTok. <laughs> uh, no, see you there.